In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fill dates dynamically for the entire month based on any day for that month. So here, just to show you what it uh, will do, um, you type uh, a date and uh, you get as many dates filled as you have days in that month. So if I type the today's date, control semicolon, and press enter, you see that I am in November. November has uh, 30 days. It will fill with uh, fill it dynamically using a dynamic array. If I type, uh, let's say, 2 to uh, 22, something like that, you see that that's February, and I got 28 days in that February. So this is all dynamic. I'm going to show you how uh, to do that uh, in this video. Let us see how we can fill all the dates for a month, for the month of a date. Uh, how do we fill all the dates for that month dynamically in Excel? So uh, you can take advantage of the so-called sequence function. If you type equal sign sequence, if you've never seen it before, it allows you to fill a sequence of numbers. So say, I want to fill five rows of numbers. So sequence five, will give me five rows of numbers. And of course, if I want more rows of numbers, I can simply type a different value here, 10 rows of numbers. Now that uh, five or 10, it can actually be a um, uh, cell reference, right? So here, let's say I'm gonna do it from here, I'm gonna type 15. And now instead of uh, 10 here, I'm gonna reference that cell and that will give me 15. So now the beauty of this, I can type a value in that cell and I get the number, like the sequence of numbers based on that value. So that's how many rows are filled with the one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Well, you can take advantage of that if you uh, calculate how many days you have in the month. And previously, I have already shown you how to do that. So I'm gonna do it quickly in cell uh, B2. Let me zoom in a little bit. So here, um, remember the EO month, EO month uh, function, you can take a date and uh, calculate the end of the month for that date. And uh, oops, forgot one more argument, you need to put comma zero. Zero means that exact month. So if you put one, you will show the end of the next month. Uh, but with the second argument uh, of zero, it will give you the end of that specific month. I'm going to press enter. OK, so this is uh, incorrect uh, uh, format. So I'm going to change it into short date format. So 229.24 for that one. I'm going to type the today's date here. Control semicolon, press enter. And you see the end of this month. I'm recording it on uh, November 8, 23. So 11.30.23. Right, so that's uh, uh, end of the month. And of course, uh, as you may already know, if you take the day of that uh, date, the end of the month date, then what you will get, you will get the day. But again, now you need to switch into the general format. Shortcut, control shift tilde. Control shift tilde will apply the general format to the selected cell. Control shift tilde, that key above the tab key and on the left hand side of key digit one. So now this is dynamic. If I type, let's say, 2, uh, 10, uh, 22, how many days did I have that month? 28 days. Of course, now we can take this, we can take the sequence and reference that number. And that will fill how many, like exactly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, as a dynamic array. And that is really awesome, because now we can simply reference that dynamic array and fill the dates. And how do we fill the dates? We have the date function where we need to provide the year. And how do we know the year? We have the year function for this date. We are filling for that specific date. And then comma, and then month. We're gonna take the month function and calculate the month of the date. And for the uh, day, uh, I'm gonna just reference that. But of course, if I simply hit um, uh, enter, it will be only one day. What I need, I need the entire array of dates. So here, instead of A4, I type A4 hashtag and press enter. So now 
I just filled all of these uh, uh, days for that one month. So here I have one date, and for that month of that date, I'm filling all the dates. So no matter how many dates it has, I'm going to type another date. I'm going to put the today's date again, control semicolon, and um, how many days do we have this month? 30, right? November 30. But of course, you don't really need this dynamic array with the sequence stuff. That is just uh, uh, for our convenience, so we can get the numbers, the specific sequence of numbers we need. No more, no less. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this without the equal sign, command C, escape, and I'm going to uh, replace the reference to the dynamic array that begins in A4 with the calculation that uh, provides that dynamic array. And I'm going to hit uh, Enter. So now this is all dynamic. This is not necessary anymore. All of those sequence numbers, I can delete them. And we have a dynamic uh, dynamic calculation. You can just change the date here. Uh, let's say 1, 1, um, 20, 24. Press Enter. Notice it's like January 31. That's 31 days. So this one uh, formula is uh, filling uh, all the dates for the month of a date that I type in cell B1. And that is, um, it's wonderful that it's dynamic. You know, sometimes you need to fill it in a dynamic way. Of course, you can always fill it statically, but this is way cooler than uh, any static approach. So I'll uh, see you in the next, uh, well, in the next one. I hope you like it. And if you like it, like it. If you enjoy it, then like it again. I'll see you soon.